Welcome to CSE Guru. In this session, we will discuss role of lexical analyzer in compiler design. The lexical analyzer is the first phase of the compiler. The input to the lexical analyzer is the source program. Once the source program is given as an input, the lexical analyzer starts to scan the source program and read the input characters from the source program. These input characters are then grouped as a meaningful lexeme. This lexeme will be compared with the patterns to identify whether it is a keyword, identifier or operator likewise. So, for each lexeme present in the source code, it will produce token as the output. So, input to the lexical analyzer is the source program and output from the lexical analyzer is the tokens. Okay. So, these three are the main task of the lexical analyzer. It will scan and read the input characters, group the lexeme and generate tokens. During the process of producing tokens, if the lexical analyzer identifies the particular token is an identifier, immediately it will make an entry into the symbol table. So, throughout the process of producing tokens for the complete source program, it will retrieve and update the symbol table frequently. These symbol table informations will be used by all other phases of the compiler. It also eliminates white spaces and comments present in the source program. So the white space characters are slash p that is backslash character slash n it is a new line character slash or carriage return and slash t vertical tab. Likewise, if it identifies any white space characters or the comment lines that will be automatically striped out by the lexical analyzer. Since the lexical analyzer will keep track of the new line character, it reports the error message along with the line number itself. In some compilers, the lexical analyzer will make a copy of the source program with the error message inserted at the appropriate position. So that will give a proper information to the user to rectify the error easily. If there is any macros present in the source code, that expansion of macro preprocessor is also done by the lexical analyzer. So the complete process of the lexical analyzer is a two cascading process. So one is scanning and another one is lexical analysis. Scanning is a very simple process. So it scans only the source code. But the lexical analysis is quite tricky process. It has to recognize the lexim and these lexims should be converted into tokens. So the maximum processing will be done in the lexical analysis and scanning it will just scan the source code and it helps to read the input characters from the source code. So it is a very simple process. Next interaction between lexical analyzer and parser. The input to the lexical analyzer is the source program. So the lexical analyzer will accept the source program and starts to read input characters from the source program. These input characters it will group into lexemes and then it will produce tokens comparing these lexemes with the pattern. The parser will send a call that is get next token to the lexical analyzer. Once the lexical analyzer receives the get next token uh, call, it will send its produced token to the parser. Then again the parser will send a call. Again, the lexical analyzer will send the token. So, this will be a continuous process until it completes the complete source program. Once the parser gets its token stream, it starts to construct the parse tree as the output. During the complete process of the lexical analyzer, if it identifies any identifier or subroutines, that information will be updated to the symbol table. This symbol table information will be used by the parser to construct the parse tree with the help of tokens. So, this is the interaction between the lexical analyzer and the parser. This is the example source code. So, in this source code, we will identify the lexem and its appropriate tokens. Once the source code is given, the lexical analyzer will start to read the input source code character by character. So, first it will start to read int. So, this int will be recognized as a lexem and this lexem will be compared with the pattern. It will match with the reserved words list. So, this Lexim int will be recognized as a token name called keyword. Next is a white space character. So the lexical analyzer won't consider the white space character. Automatically it will stripes out the white space characters. Next it will read ADD. So ADD is the next lexim and it will be compared with the pattern. It matches with the token name identifier. Next open bracket with the token name punctuation symbol. INT is a keyword, A is an identifier, 
Kama is a separator or under punctuation symbol. INT is a keyword. B is an identifier and close bracket is a punctuation symbol. So if you are considering this first line, totally there are nine tokens. Next, after completing this first line, it will move to the second line. So this second line is a comment line. So the lexicon analyzer automatically stripes out the white space characters and comment lines. So it won't consider the comment line. Next, it will move to the third line and it will read the open brace. This open brace will be recognized as a token punctuation symbol. So likewise, if you are considering totally, there are 23 tokens present in this example. The lexical analyzer will read the input characters present in the source code and group them as lexemes. So for each lexem, it will compare with the pattern to describe the appropriate token. Okay. Next, issues in the lexical analyzer. There is a main question, why this lexical analyzer and the parser is separate? So the first reason is design simplicity because the lexical analyzer has to do more tasks. It has to read the input characters, identifies the lexemes and convert each lexeme into appropriate tokens. So these three will be considered as the main task of the uh, lexical analyzer. So apart from these tasks, it also do updation of the symbol table information, eliminates the white space characters and the comment lines and also macro preprocessor expansion, porting the error message with line number. So these many tasks will be done by the lexical analyzer. And if you are combining the syntax analysis process also here, it will be a very hectic process for the lexical analyzer to do its task efficiently. So Simplicity is the main consideration of separating the lexical analyzer and the parser. Second, compiler efficiency is improved. Uh, the lexical analyzer will spend large amount of time in reading the source program and producing the tokens. So if you are concentrating in these process, we can able to improve the compiler efficiency. It allows to construct the specialized and potentially more efficient processors to improve the lexical analysis process separately. And also, the specialized buffering techniques are available to read the input characters and produce tokens to improve the performance of the compiler. So if you are concentrating specifically in lexical analysis task, we can able to improve the compiler efficiency. Next, compiler portability is enhanced. Since the lexical analyzer will spend more time in reading the input characters, input related anomalies we can able to identify and rectify easily if the lexical analyzer is a separate and also it will improve the portability of the compiler. Thank you for watching this video.